There we go! Let's go. Alright, here you go. I feel like he got that one. <laughs> Alright guys, now on for the third tip. Our third tip is starting early. Alright, so now this is the trickiest of all of them, but this is also the key to success for a lot of major league hitters that made adjustments such as uh, you know, Jose Bautista, um, Josh Donaldson, just to name a couple. But if we could start early with our kinetic chain and make sure that we get into a strong position back by doing those first two tips that I showed you, um, we're going to not only elongate uh, our load, but it's going to calm ourselves down. The worst thing we could do is try to take a nice hard swing in a 3-1 count, but have very violent uh, movements backwards. We want to extend that and turn it into like a silky smooth load. That enables us to stay under control before we make our movement forward. And it is honestly guys, it's a trial and error. It's a trial and error. You have to commit. When we're up at the plate and we're getting ready to hit off of the pitcher, we want to we want to try to start ourselves early. Uh, one of my best hitting coaches used to call it dancing with the pitcher. When he pulls his arms back ready to throw, his, his throwing arm back, we want to start pulling back getting ready to hit. And as long as we stay balanced and we want to make sure that we get into that proper hitting zone to meet the ball out in front of us, uh, good things are going to happen. We're going to develop a lot easier power but we're going to develop quicker bat speed as well and um and again guys this is all about committing you got to commit to it you got to work on it in batting practice you got to work on it work on it work on it so i'm going to show you off the tee what that looks like as far as our load goes and uh again being comfortable with stacking ourselves early uh, to attack the zone Now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow oh, Go on, just do what you do guys starting early stacking and trusting ourselves to drive with our backside and you know feel free to go back in this video and watch those swings again but notice that even though I'm loading back nice and aggressive on that backside I'm not wasting movement on top of my front leg I'm still staying be behind my my center point in my swing and I'm driving right into that hard all right, so I'm going to show some in-game footage to help demonstrate what I'm talking about. So when I'm getting set in the box here, all I'm doing is getting in an aggressive position and waiting for him to pull the ball out of his glove. So I have a nice easy rhythm here. As soon as that ball gets pulled out of his glove, that's when I start my negative movement. Now, when his arm's reaching its peak point, that's the peak point of my leg kick. And then now as he's moving forward, I'm already moving forward, obviously staying and keeping everything behind that center point and letting my backside catch up to create that nice launch angle that we talked about. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. And also check out my rhythm and timing video I have, uh, one of the earlier videos I made on my channel. That will also go a little more in depth on this early load that I'm talking about. Now, again, this all should be able to correlate on a leg kick, toe tap, or just a regular stride um, as far as rhythm goes.
Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps. Stay tuned for some more power tips.